Martin Sachs, I'm the grandson of uh, Teddy Baldock, who's Britain's youngest ever world champion. Uh, he turned pro at 13, um, he was already fighting as a top liner at the Albert Hall at 17. Um, as an 18 year old he went out to America, he had 12 fights out in the States at such famous venues as um, Madison Square Gardens, fighting on the undercard of uh, James A. Braddock's Cinderella Man. Uh, he wrote, returned back to the UK and uh, three fights later he fought for the uh, then vacant World Bantamweight title which he won at the age of 19. Um, I think it's important, not just because he's my grandfather, but um, he is Britain's youngest ever world champion and if you speak to people about uh, Teddy Bolton today, there's very few people that remember him. Um, so I think it's important that we should keep uh, his memory alive as, as one of Britain's sporting icons back in the 1920s. Um, when he got married to my grandmother in 1931, there was four different news films there to film the wedding. Thousands and thousands of people lying in the streets. You know, if you'd been married today, you'd probably been on the front page of Hello magazine or something like that. But just like I said, his it, memory's sort of been forgotten apart from the sort of aficionados within the, 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 the boxing circles. Um, that's why I wrote his life story, and his life story is now in the um, National Library. So and what I'd like to do to, to finish really is I'd like to have a, a life-size bronze erected in Poplar Rose from to commemorate uh, his achievement in boxing. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the Spotlight Centre at Langley Park is, is bleak. I think they're going to finish it in about three years' time, so I'm hoping um, I can achieve it in three years, but this, the miniature's already been done, so um, it's really a case as soon as we get funding, uh, it, it, it can be skull custom. And what did you exhibition and, and long overdue in a way when you think you've got the uh, huge American um, Boxing Hall of Fame at Canistota where you get the inductees voted in I, I think we should have it over here you know why, why should the Americans have the monopoly on, on, on it and back in the 20s they, they had the monopoly on almost you know choosing who, who was going to be world champion so let's get it back over to England uh, where boxing began and this could be the start of something big you know, we could have our own boxing hall of fame, our, our own museum. You know? mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you very, thank you very much, and um, and that's it.